Okay, Seder, good morning. So we're up to Simon uh, Nun Gimel uh, Chavov. Let's just finish off Simon Nun Gimel uh, Chavov, the last halacha in Nun Gimel. Kahal she nagu lemanois anoshim al tzorche hatzibur lezman. You have an appointment, uh, a communal appointment for a certain period of time. Uh, so imagine like a board of management or something like that. They're there for a year, two years, whatever the rules are. And then when they go, other people uh, replace them. Whether it's the chazan, whether it's the person in charge of the kupa shal the, the, the stocker funds. Or other appointees that are needed by the community. Whether they take money or not. Even if they, they didn't specify the, the time. Uh, then they're bound by whatever the communal minhag uh, is in terms of uh, you know uh, in terms of the term of their of their of their tenure. Says the Ramah, Misha Yesh Misha Kosav, the Shliach Tzibu Yispala Matecha Sefer Hamiyuchad LeTzibur. The Chazan should should read should use a Sefer which is Miyuchad LeTzibur. The Vadai Nichtav LeShmoy because it's certainly written uh, LeShmoy and there's no other problems for it. Okay, so let's take a look at Mishnah Bura. Sif Kotten Peivov HaTzibur LeZman. I'm betshuvas Chem Dashleima Simen Zayin Besachrei Chazan LeZman Gimoshanim. They hired a Chazan for three years. The masik ahoch dinner, the hocha do dafka mokum shem minik shlach azman yet to elu. That specifically when the people leave after that period of time. Avo bismaneno says the Chavetz Chaim in in our times, writing you know hundred plus years ago, the ein derech lesalik beloy chashodo. You don't just dismiss unless there's a problem with the chaz, with the chazan or with the appointee. You know, there's, there's some sort of chashad, there's some suspicion of what he's doing. Vada in lesalka bechinam. You can't just get rid of him. For no reason, Mishum Shelo Lasa Sulav Chashado. If there's no uh, problem with him, Ayn Sham. For Ayn Betshuvas Chasim Sofer Simon Reishvav Gam Kain Kain Zeh. Im Loi Kshehisnu Befeirush. Unless they said explicitly, Shalacha Azman Shegovlu Yer Kol Azmanoi. And unless they said, Look, you're here for a year, you're here for six months, for five years, whatever it is, and they said it very specifically. Ushne Asolim Yu Yochayin Lachzor. And both parties could retract from that uh, agreement. For Tzorich Kabola Minyan Chadosh. Uh, and you need various, uh, you know, new commitment to it, etc., whatever it may be. Um, now, nowadays, I think it's quite contractual. I think it used to be that the Rav was for, for you know, forever. Um, but I think most shuls nowadays, uh, it's become quite businesslike. And um, it's, there, there is a contract in place and, uh, you know, and you're bound by the terms of the contract. Okay, then the Ramah finishes off. So he said, He uses the special that. Now, which is written in it says the says the Mishnah Berurin. You've got him pezayin, pirush nichtav l'shem shemaim. I.e., it was written l'shem shemaim, v'lo l'shem hisparus, and not for any other reason. V'afilu masidur shel hayochit who bichsav no a yosim atzibur. Even if that particular sidur is a beautiful print with the very end of nun gimel. Uh, of a svarim hanit fosim, and nowadays we, we we don't use written you know handwritten svarim, um, and we use printed sedurim. Ein chiluk bein shel tzibur liyochid, and therefore there's no difference. Shel tzibur shel yochid. We use you know the the large art scroll or the large whatever one we use nowadays. Now very interesting. Uh, sorry, the cost of our prima godim noch and after yochid is palam teichasida. It's very important for an individual to use a sidur when he davens. Kol shkain shliach tzibur. And all the more so, Shliach Tzibur, why? She Eima Tzibur Olav, She Yispala Bifnim. That um, the aim of the Tzibur is, is, is on him when he davens and he focuses and he, he reads, uh, and he shouldn't just daven Baal Peh. Now here comes the amazing thing. If I, with, if I were to ask you, what does the word Chazan mean? Shliach Tzibur, we know. You're a rep of the Tzibur. But what does a Chazan mean? I never really thought about it. it says in the Mishnah Bura, the Kairin Shliach Tzibur Chazan, the reason why Shliach Tzibur is called a Chazan, Shetzorich Lira is Hechikra. He's got to look into the Siddha. And Vayar Vachazi, the Targum Vayar Vachazi, the Targum of to see Vayar is Vachazi, like Chazoin Yishayahu, someone who sees. And therefore, the Chazan comes from the word to see, to look into the Siddha, and not to Davan uh, Balpe. In, in footnote number one, sorry, in footnote number 98, 
Yeah, he, he said the, the importance of davening from a siddha. He says, We say further on, uh, It's enhance his kavana, he would daven from a siddha. Uh, whatever works for you. Some people, you know, whatever works for you. But just look at the last bit. That a person should, even for Bricha Samozen, yeah, that was the famous Kabbalah once from Shach, where he was in the Kabbalah, the Dayan Dai Aaron Doviduna went out to see him. This was in the time of the first, the Gulf War in 91. And he said, Kal Yisrael need to do tshuva, and he's got the opportunity to speak. What should he tell Kal Yisrael? So Shach, in a moment of personal disclosure, said, look, Small, very small uh, bits, but I'll tell you what I did last Rosh Hashanah. This was like Hanukkah time, I think. Last Rosh Hashanah, he said, he said I was makabel upon myself. This is a 90 plus year old Rosh Hashiva to, to bench from a bencher only when I'm at home, and I think only till Hanukkah or so, you know, a very short period of time. Uh, this to start benching, right? Rosh Hashanah knew benching off by heart, but he said that was his that was his Kabbalah to, to be very careful to bench from a bencher, even not Balpeh. Okay, let's carry on.